Challenging economic times typically mean tough times for the arts. When Trey Debbie became president of the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra nearly four years ago, the CSO was $6.2 million in debt and had a habit of dipping too far into its endowment to help balance the books. But all that has now changed. Debbie says the budget is balanced, attendance increasing, and more people are giving. So the orchestra is doing really well uh, in the context of an industry that has been, has been challenged. Uh, the relationship that we've got between the musicians, the board, and the management, I think, is uh, extremely healthy. Uh, our musicians have worked cooperatively with the board and the management to ensure that the orchestra is successful. So how did the CSO turn things around? In his first two weeks on the job, Debbie helped negotiate a new contract with the Musicians Union, getting everyone to agree to a 15% across-the-board pay cut to stop the fiscal bleeding. Then in December 2009, Louise Nippert, who died just four months ago, created an $85 million musical arts fund that sustains the CSO as a year-round orchestra. It also provides $3.5 million a year in support, which is held separate from the orchestra's own endowment.